Okay, great morning. Let's move right along and we'll get one from the Whispers of Healing. <clears throat> Let's pull a card from the Whispers of Healing and just see what the message is today. Okay. Well, we had this one the other day. Self-love. So apparently that's still in the works, <laughs> something people are working on. Um, but let's pull another card. Commit to happiness. Commit to happiness. Okay. That's a good thing to commit to. Commit to happiness. Just want happiness in one's life. Okay. So, what about committing to happiness? First card out is storm. Storm. Let me pick the other two cards and put them out there. Get our other qualifiers here. I think we'll do this other deck for this one. <clears throat> and let's see what we have about storm. Committing to happiness and when we have the storms. Because invariably storms come up. Okay. Change. <clears throat> okay. So one of the most difficult times is in the midst of change. You know, that's what Buddha was saying, that uh, the cause of suffering is change. People don't want things to change. They want everything to remain the same. Um, so that's one of the causes of suffering, not accepting change. Okay, and uh, sometimes the storms come up and change, things need to be swept away and then you can bring in something new. Okay, so storms do have a purpose. They are to initiate change. And if we're going to commit to happiness, understand that change is part of it. Change is a part of it. Accepting change, accepting you know, that things are going to be different. They're not, we cannot control everything. We cannot uh, manipulate everything. We have to be willing to go with the flow and accept change along the way. If we can accept change, then we will be much happier people um, within. Okay, so now we come to the challenge. The challenge is the intuition, illuminating intuition. Okay, so <clears throat> we may have these intuitions, and an intuition means that you have some gut feeling about something, okay, and so. <clears throat> putting light on it, what is this gut feeling that one is having, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, that it's something one presupposes and has put into place, okay? Um, such as if somebody is paranoid, you know, and they have saying that, well, I've got the intuition that somebody's watching me. Well, that's not what I'm talking about when it comes to intuition. Intuition is about, you know, getting in touch with the universe, with the things that are around us, opening up so that we can feel these energetic changes that are coming and to look deeper at those, to illuminate the things that we know within the depth of being 
that is in the midst of change. Okay, we have the storms again uh, coming up to change. Um, the, some of this we could look at like COVID, the variant that's come up. Okay, we have the storm of that coming up at change. There are some people that are gonna pass. We have the skeletons sitting here and the other one feeling naked and vulnerable <clears throat> in the midst of it. But we need to keep our intuition of what is beneficial and what's not during this time. Of course, what's beneficial is continue to wear the mask, continuing to be safe out there, okay? Um, so going forward, what we have is sometimes you feel like a fish out of water. You're in unfamiliar territory. And, you know, you want to charge forward and having a breakthrough. Well, if you're going to charge forward and have a breakthrough, a good way to do it is committing again to happiness. Okay? Committing to the higher things, to see the better side of things. You know, everything's a yin-yang. It's got a positive and it's got a negative. So which one are you going to go? Even in the dark side of the yin yang, you have a seed of light. So there's something you can find in the midst of there. There is a silver uh, cloud, you know, in the midst of it somewhere, you have a seed of light. So committing to happiness rather than allowing oneself to get drug into pessimism and depression and all of that, it can aid you going better forward in your life. And especially when you get to unfamiliar territory, you're feeling like a fish out of water, you don't know where to go, and you wanna have a breakthrough, definitely a committing to happiness is going to aid you in going forward in a much better way than it would if you were in pessimism and doubt and you know, the woe is me, the pity party cycle beating the drum for all it's worth it, it, because that is not going to get one through storms um, easily, okay? Um, yeah, so the best methodology is look for clues, look for uh, beneficial things, which was our reading other reading this morning was clues are going to come up on to your next thing you know stay open to intuition stay open to the universe bringing some some signs some clues as to what's the next um step in one's life and commit to happiness okay committing to happiness will get you through the storms of life the changes that are inevitable that are going to happen. Um, it will keep you on a higher plane for intuition to be able to illuminate it, to see it more clearly. And when you're like a fish out of water, it will more readily help you to break through, um, break through whatever drama is coming up, okay? So commit to happiness rather than pessimism, doubt, fear, etc. You know, because we see the ones like, you know, the Trumpian clan wants to continue to keep people on a fear cycle, okay? Deep state conspiracies want to keep people on fear cycles. They rule by fear rather than committing to happiness and finding happiness with what you have available in this moment. <clears throat> there is always some uh, putting forward some suspicion, some doubt, some, you know, um, and that is not a pleasant way to live one's life, okay? <laughs> so better to commit to happiness and bringing that in your life, keeping that as a focus going forward, rather than pessimism and doubt and all of that drama. We don't need that in our lives, you know. There's enough. We'll, we'll let the Trumpian clan continue to have that, uh, you know. Uh, we'll allow... Donald to sit there and and keep screaming he won an election that he clearly lost 
<laughs> you know. Oh, mercy. Oh. And that they're still trying to, you know, uh, manufacture drama um, surrounding it. So I'm going to leave this here. Stick to happiness. Commit to happiness. It's a much better path, much better way to go um, than to be uh, immersed in drama and uh, what ifs and if onlys and all of that uh, rhetoric that goes with that. Okay, so much love and light, and I'll see you online.